Cheers. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Give me my baby! We have arrived. New year, new season, new class. Um, but unfortunately, just me at the track. Little man and the wife had a baby shower to go to. So it's just me, fit with the Musgraves today. Looking forward to it. I'm running S4, because I'm old now. I am uh, of the ripe age of 30, so I get to run with the old guys who uh, or just like me and only get out to the track maybe once or twice a month instead of two or three times a week. So hopefully the uh, racing will be a bit more up at the pointy end of the, uh, the field. And other than that, looking forward to it. Cart feels good, did a complete bearing overhaul of it. Um, unfortunately, I had to lose my 117 number. I am now 444, but it is what it is. I missed the first session more or less because it's, the track's a little too dusty anyway and I got here a little late, but no big deal. Cards prepped, I'm up in two classes, and then uh, see where we're at, see what kind of adjustments we need to make. So, until then, I'll see you on the track. session is complete. I have officially gone off track once. Wasn't too bad though. I was able to keep it going. Uh, S4 and S4 Supermasters. There's definitely uh, more gray haired folk than there are colored haired folk, which is good. Uh, more people like me, although I still have color. But either way, gotta, gotta go get my sunglasses because it is a bit bright out here. Brighter than I was expecting. Uh, but should be good making some slight adjustments to the carts before I go out this next session and then I'll put my good tires on and then I'll be able to kind of see where I'm, I really stand with the uh, the old timers here, but it should be fun uh, Let's see how session two goes
Don't tell him that, it goes straight to his head. <laughs> All right, that was good. Ran my 49.9s again. Uh, I did add five pounds because uh, I came in on the scales at the 400 last time. So, uh, I mean, since I'm in the bigger class, they add 20 pounds. And so finally, I'm not going to be overweight by much. Other than that, it felt good. I was chasing that one guy for a bit. He was a uh, good pace for me. So it was fun. Wasn't able to pass him, but hopefully I'll beat him in the race. Da -da -da. It is race day. Got my other new camera equipment here. This makes for some really sweet uh, slow-mos and other uh, things here and there. I already did my first warm-up session. I was running a little late, so I wasn't able to get a track walk in today, but we'll be all right. Uh, Got to get, uh, get ready for qualifying. Got to put my tires on, change the jet, put some safety things on, and then uh, ready to rock and roll. So I will see you. I'm going to go around and get some cool shots. Hopefully you'll be on them. Uh, this is pretty cool. I'm actually really excited about this thing. Super excited. Anyway, see you guys in qualify. when you can't take it home, and you're paying $3,000 every weekend. There might be a problem, Houston, <laughs> all right? So let's stop the bullshit, and let's go racing. Anybody, I don't care what it is, that is caught deliberately cheating here, you are done and out of here. All right, so it is your responsibility, okay? Don't come to me and tell me, what's my motor bill? The motor builder, he's gone. He can go to jet ski. The other guy's jet skiing already. Okay, and I never want to see him again. But I want to make a stern warning to everybody here. We are racing. And when you are paying $3,000 or $5,000 for a little motor that's a pump motor that costs $2,000, there's a problem. And most likely, there's some shit in there that's platinum if you're paying $3,000. So I want to send everybody home. Make sure you tell your mechanic. Make sure you tell everybody in your pit. Dad, mom, cousin, grandpa, if you cheat that, we're out of here. We're going jet skiing. I want to leave you guys with that. Now, on a good note, National Anthem. soon fifth in class starting 10th I believe so got some work ahead of me now should be fun though I gotta do the jet change tire pressures add fuel and there's one other thing hopefully I'll remember before the race oh yeah put the GoPros on
some more cool slow-mo shots with my sweet gimbal 240 frames per second and my skateboard so enjoy
finished. Uh, got fifth in that one again. The heat race one, the guy actually jumped the start and they put him back. So I actually got fourth in heat race one. That's why I started up there. But it was good. I'm just like I'm stuck between the front pack and the middle pack, and I'm just hot lapping on my own for about halfway through the race. But hopefully I can find some time time here in the main and run with you know, that front pack. Hopefully. That's the game plan. I'm sticking to it. There's an art to making the peanut butter honey banana sandwich. First you put on the honey, that way it soaks into the bread really nicely. Then you put on the peanut butter, and you let the peanut butter knife off. Get the banana. I know I feel the banana the wrong way. Child born and raised, get over it. Cut big chunks. Usually about nine. And then you eat. Okay, we got the main coming up. Uh, cart feels good. I can just tell the tires are wearing. I'm gonna rotate the tires all the way around. So I'm going to be a little bit slower on the first five laps, but the last eight laps or so, I should be a bit a bit quicker. So hopefully I'm going to count on being quicker in the last end of the race. And then I think that's it. And I just got to stay focused and hopefully stay with that front pack. Because I think I can keep with them if, we're, if I get to their draft, I think I can keep with them. Uh, but that that heat race, that one uh, Super Masters guy got in between, slowed me for a couple laps, and I kind of broke away, the pack broke away from me. But uh, Hopefully I can have a good start and uh, split that pack hopefully and then just try and stick with them and go from there. <laughs> main finished fifth unless somebody fails tech we gotta go through tech now um and then it's packing it up and off to in and out which i am starving for Whew. good stuff good stuff got excited because that one guy looked like he wrecked so i would have been hopefully given forth but ah, he ended up passing me back but anyway fun stuff for those of you who don't know Billy Musgrave is arguably one of the best carters in the United States. Somebody took him out in heat race two though, so he's starting about mid-pack here. I got my fancy GoPro on the front of it for hopefully an amazing video. Uh, should be entertaining. I'm looking forward to it.
That's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Uh, thank you so much. For being on. Thank you. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. I don't know when it is, but Woo. I missed my skateboard. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, race on.